Mr. Matt Paul, three minute history, the collapse of the Soviet Union. So why did the Soviet Union collapse? Let's look into the different causes, both long term and short term, which made this phenomenon happen. One of the major reasons a long term cause of the fall of the Soviet Union was because of a man whose leadership really represents a turning point in uh, American hostility towards the Soviet Union. This is, of course, Ronald Reagan. Now, Ronald Reagan had a number of policies. One of them was the Reagan Doctrine. So a Reagan Doctrine was this. The Reagan Doctrine was that not only would he support anti-communist governments, he would support anti-communist groups within countries which had communist governments. So this was a much more aggressive policy than what had preceded him and really had been a theme of continuity before his rule, which was containment. So as of containment, he was going to roll the Soviet Union right back. Another one of his policies was SDI, the Strategic Defence Initiative. This was nicknamed as Star Wars. So basically, Reagan wasn't satisfied with mutually assured destruction. He wanted to protect the USA from any ICBMs from the Soviet Union. So basically, it was satellites with lasers. Pew, pew, pew. Reagan also had a policy of Reaganomics, which was cutting taxes for the rich, which would then create a massive boom in the American economy, which it did. Okay. So this was really important because it allowed Reagan to put a lot of pressure on the Soviet Union in terms of in terms of sanctions. It also allowed Reagan to invest heavily into his military, which the Soviet Union could no longer keep up with. Furthermore, in 1987, Reagan went to Berlin, to the Brandenburg Gate, and said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. So not he wasn't like JFK, wasn't content with having a West Berlin. He wanted Germany to be united and capitalist. Another long-term cause was the Chernobyl disaster in 1986. Now, this really showed a kind of inefficiency which existed in the Soviet Union, and the cover-up was just terrible for the Soviet Union's international PR. It was a massive humiliation and embarrassment on the international scene, and Gorbachev himself cites it for a major reason of why the Soviet Union uh, ended up falling and imploding in 1991. We have to remember, though, this is a long-term cause. This occurred in 1986, the uh, Chernobyl disaster. A very important and significant short-term cause was the revocation of the Brezhnev Doctrine by Gorbachev. So we have to remember that Brezhnev had promised to uphold communist systems in Eastern Europe, wherever they were. Okay, He would not let these countries fall to capitalism. Well, Gorbachev had new thinking. He had new ideas on this. And he actually said, if these countries want to follow their own destiny, they could. And they did. Now, the major symbol of this is the Berlin Wall falling in 1989. However... The process started in Poland with Solidarity becoming the government of Poland. Please tune in for part two. This is a double parter.